From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between UK and US Starbucks. This is Food Wars. Starbucks is expensive. It's a lot of money, man. Now, hot coffees in the UK come in four sizes. Firstly, we have a short coffee, which short. is eight ounces. The short, eight ounces. Then we have a mm. tall coffee, which is 12 ounces. Next, we have What do the they tall. name it like that? We're not Next, small, medium, ounces. large. It's a grande coffee, mm. which comes in at 16 ounces. Then we got the grande, 16 ounces. A venti, or 20 ounces. They're actually the exact same size. And the biggest one, oh my God. the venti, 20 ounces. Why do you need that much caffeine? It's crazy. And in case you're wondering, it's called the venti because 20 in Italian is 600 milliliters. Cold coffees in the UK come in three sizes. The tall. The tall. 12 ounces. Grande. We got the grande. And venti. Here's where things get kind of weird. Our venti I'm ice surprised they're the exact same four size. And we have another size Never mind. Up. 20, right? I was wrong. 20, oh, that is what? 30 ounces. That's just too much, man. Way too much. Let's compare some seemingly identical drinks to see how much they match up under the hood. So a venti latte in the UK contains 235 calories, 7.9 grams of fat, 21.1 grams of sugar, and Jesus. 225 milligrams of caffeine. I don't have that much and protein in, the US, in it. The same venti latte has 250 calories, and that's nine grams of fat and 150 milligrams of caffeine. Here are some things you'll only find on the menu at a UK Starbucks. One. Let's start with the bakery section. That looks good. Here in the UK, on that the bakery good. menu, you'll find a chocolate chunk shortbread cookie. You'll find this delightful little gingerbread barista mat. Oh, you'll find this, well. this looks looking good. We also have some luxury fruit toast, which comes with these little cute pots of jam. And then finally, we've got a cinnamon swirl, which is kind of just oh. a cinnamon roll. Here are Not all bad. the US exclusive food items. So a lot of different breakfast sandwiches for Starbucks. This one right here is the impossible like meat sandwich, spinach, egg and feta cheese wrap. This is my go-to one. They can Love keep it. them. These they can keep their exclusives. Uh, As one definitely so much better. These little sud V egg wraps. Sud V. I'll be straight up. I've never had one of these. Holy <laughs> These are so good. Oh my God. A lot of baked goods like this little friendly guy just in time for the holiday season. A little snowman cake pop. A bunch of different varieties pop. of sugar cookies. I got this one because I think it looks the nicest, but I don't want this at all. Oh, but you know what I do love? Dude, danishes, especially cheese danishes. We also got scones. So, one with the blueberry scone. That's just not a scone. Look at Harry's face. That ain't a scone. Scone, Harry. I don't want them. That Sorry is, to break that it to you, Joe, that, that, that is not a scone. A few things to point out. Firstly, it's pronounced scone, not scone. Secondly, they should all- The Marshmallow Dream Bar, Jesus. AKA a Rice crispy Treat. America can keep their breakfast items and honestly the majority of their stuff. I'm very, very surprised how the calories in the coffees is the exact same, which is good, but normally the US have like 10 times the UK. So thankfully they are the same. I would, however, love to know the price difference. The price in the Starbucks in the UK is a fucking expensive. So I'm, I would love to know what the price difference is. Unfortunately, I did not show that. I'd love to know. Just out of pure curiosity, see how much it would be.